everyone, if you are new here, let me tell you what's about to happen. About once a month, I like to go to a retailer that you all request and do a little try on and eventually a haul. So today we are going to express. I'm specifically looking for pieces that work well towards the end of the summer moving into fall. Hopefully you're interested in that as well. We'll do an awkward dressing room try on, do my best to get full length photos and so forth. I'll pick up a few pieces and then we'll head back home and I'll style them with a few of my own and tell you how the experience went. All right, let's go hit them all. Hey friends, this is post shopping me to let you know I walked into Express, I saw nothing that I was impressed with, and I kept on walking straight into anthropology. So let's keep going. Hey everyone, welcome back to this awkward little alcove outside my bedroom. So today's outfit is to film a dressing room try-on. So I picked out pieces that will work for try-ons. I can wear this shirt by itself, pair it with some of the pants that I'm thinking of getting, and I can wear these jeans to pair it with some of the tops that I'm planning on getting so I don't have to completely undress. And I picked these booties because it is still summer, it is still quite warm outside, but they are open-toed and kind of hard to see, but they are open on the side as well. So they're not too terribly hot. Stuck with some smaller earrings that will go with everything. And I'm not wearing any lipstick today so I don't get any on the clothes as I try them on or off. All right, here we go with top number one. This comes in quite a few other colors, by the way. And I wanted the one, it's black and sort of a, you'll see, I'll put a picture of all the other options, but the stylist that's a station outside the dressing room has suggested sizing up for length if you want so i got this in a medium or i'm wearing it in a medium and you do a little front tuck the trunk of it the body is sort of a ribbed fit love a v-neck i am partial to v-necks on me if you have a bigger chest or you want to just look a little more slender definitely recommend a v-neck uh you don't have to tuck it in but there you go and then the sleeves i just love them I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's actual lace. Like the darker wine color is actual kind of see-through lace. It's just all the different textures. This would make a great top just on its own, but you could definitely dress this up with dressier pants, a skirt. It's a statement all by itself. Okay, this is what happens when you come to shop in person. I actually kind of hope it's like what it's like to come with me. I'm sort of trying to replicate the shopping with friends experience as best I can on camera. So the ladies across the dressing room for me all had this on. I was like, that is too cute. So the stylist who runs the dressing room is like, let me grab you one. She is good. And um, so if you're in San Antonio, by the way, the anthropology at La Cantera, they know their stuff. Okay, anyway, how cute is this? Again, wearing a medium. I do have room for the girls. And this is a fine gauge knit in the bodice or... The body of the shirt so i don't want it clingy if you want it clingy by all means size down the sales associate was telling me that's what she's seen a number of ladies do but i got it in the medium so just a little more room here feels a little more comfortable it is a racer back let's see if i can spin this around in a second but i'm wearing my regular bra and i don't think you can see it but if you want to be you know secure on it definitely throw on a racer back this tool bit here you would think would get annoying i don't feel it at all. I mean, unless I press my arms tightly to my side, which who looks around like that? So it's good. Let me flip you around and see if we can show you the back. There is the back. So as you can see, it's a slight racer back oh, no, I'm not under those ruffles, but it's very slight. So I feel like you could probably pull off a regular bra. There you go. Let's move on to top number three. Okay, we showed the good, the bad, and the not so good. So I grabbed this. I knew it was gonna run a little shorter, but this color is so beautiful and I love a silky material. Uh, I'm sucking it in. So if you find that I'm speaking funny, it's because I'm literally holding it in my stomach. I love the sleeves. And to be fair, if I were wearing high waist pants, this might work. Or if I sized up one, but then this would be falling off. So if you don't mind a little bit of midriff showing, or if you have less going on here so the shirt will fall a little bit lower and you have some great high-rise pants to wear with this i think this top is beautiful will i be buying it oh hell no mm -mm. but here's what we've got all right here's another one that i'm just like Meh. and here's the thing like i'm gonna be honest with you guys i love anthropology for the unique pieces but i have to love it because they're not they are not on the low end so i love the material of this i love sort of like a crinkled gauze 
This is the pale yellow. This color is doing nothing for me. I do like sort of the bib front. I like the buttons on the sides. This material is perfection for this time of year when you want lightweight and airy, but it's just personally not doing anything for me. Wearing it in a size small, I don't think I could go up a size or be hanging on it. So I'm sharing this because one of you might like it. It does come in two other colors. And the orange looked really cute online. They didn't have it at the store. It would be really cute with leggings too. But let's move on to something else. And this is another one by the same brand that did the tool sleeves and the, uh, the first shirt I showed with the similar bodice. It's a cool idea. This is a scoop neck and I will say it's scooped a little low. You have to make sure it's pulled up. Really fun sleeves. There's like a party going on outside my dressing room. It's really fun here. Uh, again, that same ribbed knit sort of bodice. I did size up to the medium. There's definitely room here. I would say if you are a similar build to me, but you have less chest, wear your true size. I just wanted there to be room here so it's not just like boobalicious. So that's what's happening here. Let me show you the back. So the back is a mirror image basically of the front, except obviously it's not scooped. So the sleeves go all the way around and the body of the shirt is solid baby. All right, I had to zoom out so you can see this. I will admit I have never been a fan of the Farm Rio stuff, but I saw this and oh my gosh, I love this dress. I think it's great for now. It's great for fall. It has a lot of fall colors throughout. Love the button. It works. I have to retie this again. You can make it tight here, but even the string. Look at these beads. Like just everything about this, the puppy sleeve. It's so fun. Oh, I don't want to love this dress. It's a little out of my budget, but I might have to get it. She's so pretty. All right, we're zoomed out for one of my favorites. So Anthropology, believe it or not, has staples. It changes from year to year as far as the material or the patterns, but this is the Somerset dress and I, one of my all-time favorite dresses. In fact, if you've ever signed up for my newsletter via my blog, you've seen it. That's the Somerset. They just released the Somerset for fall in this silky satiny material. It's neither of those things. It's got all the same things that the Somerset has, the notched bodice. There is a little clip here to make this a little more modest, but I didn't bother with it. The nice ruched waist, pockets, the tears, all the things. I have a little pooch happening here, but the pleats help hide it, and I would definitely wear higher rise underwear. That would help. If you don't already know this, by the way, uh, if you're dealing with a pooch, then bikini or even hipster underwear are not your friend. You need high rise. It just smooths and sucks it all in. I am not buying it today because I want the one in chocolate, and that's on their website, so I'm just going to order that. But here it is. So pretty. If you have never had a Somerset dress, you should rectify that. This is a great investment. You can't, especially if you don't get the silk version, if you just get the regular material, you can wear it to a dressy event by just making the shoes pretty. But I have worn mine by throwing a denim jacket over it and throw on some just basic slides or sandals. And it's an entirely different look. All right, let's move on to pants and jeans. So I have heard so many people raving about the mother jeans. So I grabbed these. I went with what is currently my true size, which is a 28, and it comes with the whiskering. That's not it pulling. It has the, in this case, the raw hem, which I really like. Lately, I've been wearing a lot of very stretchy, soft denim, and this is soft. It's a little stretchy, but it sucks you in right here. Look at this. Like, that is a flatter stomach than I actually have. You saw that pooch in the last shot, so... I do very much like these. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to buy them today. And I really like them because that's blowing my budget. Just keeping it real. Let's flip it around so we can see how the rear end fits. Let's make it awkward. Fits pretty nicely in the rear end, I have to say. I don't hate it. Last piece of clothing. Let's zoom down. These are from Pilcro, and Pilcro, again, is one of the Anthropology House brands. Now, Pilcro is known to stretch, so I'm actually wearing these in a 27, and there's plenty of room. They do need to be ironed, but you know, cargo is back. And so here we are with the cargo, very exaggerated cargo. It does have nice side pockets here. Just button and then zip like normal. The sprinkle is bugging me, but I really like these. They're really comfortable. I like how they're not a traditional cargo in a lot of ways. They're oversized. They're a straight leg. They have the cuff, which is cute. Look cute with booties make it cash, could dress it up with like a silkier top. 
I mean, this doesn't, I don't hate this. I'm getting these. I love, I love jeans, but I'm trying to get out of wearing jeans all the time. So these, these are good. Hey everyone, I'm home from the mall. So let's take a look at what is in this giant shopping bag and see what actually made the trip home with me. So I'm just gonna dig in in no particular order. First, I couldn't resist. This tool top is absolutely so much fun and I can think of so many things to wear this to and with, so really glad I picked this up. Also, as I said in the dressing room, absolutely love these cargo utility pants, whatever they're calling them now. I grabbed mine, yep, in the size 27, and I can see myself wearing these all the time, just paired with a casual v-neck cotton tee. I can dress them up, change up the shoe, so I'm really excited about this purchase. And then the budget buster, I just couldn't resist. I am hoping to wear this to the LTK conference next month. I say hoping, I may change my mind, but I'll keep the dress regardless. I did end up getting the Farm Rio dress. She's so pretty. Farm Rio has a cult-like following. So many of my friends have multiple pieces, so I know that this isn't going anywhere. This is a trend that's gonna stick around for a little while, and I feel like even though it is short-sleeved, the colors in this can be worn, at least where I live, spring, summer, and fall. So I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it, and yes, I'm trying to justify spending $200 $50 on this dress, but I will say this. When I walk into a store, before I walk into a store, I do try to take a look at the website, get an idea for what's in there, set a budget for myself, and then I'll try it as much as I want, but within a little bit of leeway, I'm trying to really stick to that budget. I did go over budget, but I kind of expected that I would, so technically, still in my budget. And speaking of budgets, if you have not watched my budgeting series, I think it's really helpful no matter where you are, what stage in life. So I'll link that up in the cards and down in the description box as well. It's a little bit older, but those truths have held true for me and my husband and our family since 1996, 1997, and they still hold true today. So I urge you to give that a look. All right, that is it for this month's try on. Please let me know in the comments below, where do you want me to go next other than Express? Give me your suggestions and I'll do my best to pick one from the list. Thanks for hanging out with me guys and I'll see you in the next one.